So you know that you want to sell your house in the next couple of years and you're trying to figure out what upgrades do I need to make to my house that are going to get me the most money back. That's the thing that I talk to sellers about all the time. I may not meet with them face to face, but I'll get emails, text messages, Facebook messages of people saying, hey, I'm not ready to sell yet, but I know that my house needs some stuff done. What do you suggest that we focus on? if we want to make some upgrades. So the biggest thing is the kitchen, right? As a woman, when we walk into a house, that's the first thing we really want to look at is what does the kitchen look like? Does it have enough space for me? Is it a good layout? Are we going to have to drop ten or $20,000 to update that kitchen? As a seller, that's where I would look first. Now, you don't necessarily have to do a $25,000 remodel, but Check out your countertops. Do they need to be replaced? Do you need to maybe paint your cabinets to make them a little more modern looking? Changing out your lighting, changing out the hardware in the kitchen. Those are some small but effective things you can do to change the look of your kitchen and help give it a more modern feel. The bathrooms are going to be the next thing. Okay, so if you have time to do both, I would do both. If you can only focus on one I would focus on the primary bathroom if you have one in your house. So again, you're not necessarily looking at doing a gut job, but the flooring in the bathroom, that's probably the smallest flooring space that you have in your house. Maybe update the flooring in it. Again, looking at your fixtures, looking at the hardware. Can you swap those out to give it a more modern vibe? If you don't have a double vanity in your primary bathroom, but you have room for one, I would definitely suggest upgrading to that. So these are just some small things that you can do over time that are not necessarily going to break the bank. Again, I'm going to talk about curb appeal. Y'all know I talk about this all the time, but first impressions do matter. When a buyer pulls up to the house, they're making that decision. Is this a house I really want to see the inside? You want to make sure that your sidewalks have been pressure washed, the outside of the house is cleaned and pressure washed. You don't have cobwebs or whatever blocking the front porch so that buyers can get to that door easily. Don't neglect the outside of your house. The windows and doors. I have seen so many homes that have been flipped, so to speak, and these people have went in and done a bang up job on the inside of the house, but they left these old metal rusted out windows and that just totally kills a buyer because they're immediately thinking of the tens of thousands of dollars it is going to cost them to update those windows. If your windows are old and dated and the glass pane is fogged up all the time, I would definitely look at getting those windows updated because that is an investment that you will see a return on if you do it in your home. The last thing is your flooring. So if you have a house that has carpet and it's old, it's worn out, there's no salvaging it, I would definitely encourage you to replace that carpet. You don't necessarily have to go back with new carpet. You could use laminate, hardwood, whatever you want to put down. If your carpet has seen better years, but it's still got some life in it, then I would definitely encourage you to pay a professional company to come out and clean that carpet for you. We have one here locally in Morristown that does a fantastic job. Happy to recommend them to you if you need the name of someone. But easy to maintain flooring options is what most buyers are going to be looking for. That's what I would try to work into the plan. A lot of people have pets. A lot of people have kids. So they want something that's easy to maintain, easy to clean. Are you looking to sell your home in Morristown in the next one, two, three years? And you need some advice on what to do to make your home stand out? feel free to send me a DM. I can come look at it. We can have a conversation by phone, but I can give you some great ideas to help you maximize the return on your investment.